supplier requesting multiple PO change and export to Excel. So in this movie, let's explore how one can request multiple PO change as a supplier in iSupplier portal. So I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to go back to Oracle applications and in order to understand this demonstration, we will simply create two new purchase orders in the name of supplier as G Plastics and then we log in as the supplier G Plastic and see how they can request multiple PO change. So first I will log in as a buyer Catherine Baker password welcome hit the login button and then I'm gonna navigate to the responsibility purchasing vision operations USA that's where you go and then you navigate to purchase orders and then purchase orders I've just restarted the server hence it's a bit slow but once you use the form for the first time it caches into the memory of the server so next time when you come it's fairly fast anyway it's just loaded so I'm gonna give a supplier here as G plastics all right and the site I'm gonna take it again as G plastic I will leave the defaults then I will come to the PO lines here I'm gonna give an item let's say something starting with A and say internal hard drive 500 GB assembled one alright I'm gonna give a quantity here as 5 okay the price has automatically come from the item price and here I'm gonna go to shipments and there I will give a need by date so let's say today itself and then I'm gonna save it as soon as I save it's gonna generate a new PO number which we will save it so there you go and I'm gonna go back to the header copy the PO number and we'll save it over here so here the buyer is Catherine Baker which is what you can see it at the header now the status is incomplete so we will have to approve this so hit the approve button and then submit for approval hit the OK button alright so here the status has been approved now on the same lines now we will create a new purchase order with the same supplier say G plastics Again, I'm going to choose the site as G is plastic. Okay, and then I will come to item. This time, we'll take a different item. Let's say something starting with CM. So, choose something that makes sense. Hmm, let's say something like this. Maybe it's something related to IT. Although G plastic may not be its supplier, but just for demonstration purposes, I have chosen this because I know the user associated with this supplier in I supplier portal. So I'm going to take a quantity of six, and let's say price of this as let's say seventy bucks. Although the price may be much more higher in the real life, but still, just for demonstration, I've taken that price choose the need by date and then save this purchase order which will generate a PO number so that's the PO number I'm gonna save that PO number over here okay and then I'm gonna hit the proof button I hope it gets approved as long as this buyer has got the approval limits looks like this buyer doesn't have the approval 
Oh, it has been approved, is it not? I just saw that. So let's go back and quickly check just to make sure because unless it is approved, it would not be visible in iSupplier portal. So give the number over here and then find. And as you could see, the status is approved. Now close this form and then I'm going to log out from this user. I'm going to log in as GE Plastic and hopefully we'll be able to see both these purchase orders listed on the dashboard over there. Okay. So user is GE Plastic. Password welcome. Hit the login button. And as you could see now, both the POs 6594 and 6593 have been listed over here. Okay, that's the notification they got it. And once you go inside iSupplier portal as a supplier, you will also be able to see those POs listed at the dashboard, right? Now, the idea for this demonstration is to demonstrate you how a supplier can request changes for multiple purchase order. Now, in this particular tab, orders you can select individual purchase order as a supplier however on the right hand top corner you have something like multiple PO change button fine so you click on that one and then here you've got to first find out the POs that you wish to change as a supplier so hit the go button and it's gonna list the purchase order numbers so as a supplier one cannot change the price, however, they can change a request quantity. Okay, so I'm going to change it now. Let's say ordered as 6, I'm going to change it as 5, and this I'm going to change it as 4. In addition to that, you can request other changes, and you've got to provide a reason for change. Let's say on hand quantity 5 only likewise you gave a reason over here as on hand quantity 4 only okay once you have done that then you've got to make the changes by hit the apply button and if at all there are any errors and you've missed something it's going to ask you for more details so here it goes you've got an error you made changes to PO line one shipment one but have not selected the change action please select the correct action so you got to select the change action so let's see is it referring to this one let's say change and then we'll try it again So let's hit this button, apply default values and see what happens. So I've chosen the action as change in default values. And let's try it once more this time. Hopefully it should go through because it's only the change action that was missing. So now you see change request has been submitted for approval right so in this case what will happen a notification will be sent to the buyer for these purchase orders so now we have changed these two POs 6594 and 6593 which is what we have created right now I'm gonna log out as the supplier and I'm gonna log in back as the buyer Catherine Baker password welcome hit the login button and right here you can see at the notification the change requests have come fine so you click on those notification and as a buyer one can accept the changes or reject the changes so in this case let's accept it all right and optionally if you wish to experiment you can reject the second PO so what you're accepting is 6594 and Oh, 6593 you've accepted it and let's say 6594 I'm gonna reject it as a supplier all right so now if we go back and log in as the supplier cheap plastic password welcome 
we will see on the dashboard what happened so you can see response to your change request for standard PO 6593 version 1 okay so as you could see this has been accepted all right that's exactly what we have done it so we'll go back and then we'll look for response to your change request for standard PO 6594 you click on this one and this one has been rejected all right now that's exactly what we have done so supplier can see the changes in real time now if you go back to supplier dashboard you will see the updated quantities for these purchase orders okay so if you go 6594 there is no revision because it has been rejected whereas there is a revision for 6593 because the change has been accepted and you can in fact go inside this and view the changes at the PO line level so if I just scroll down and here you can see we changed the quantity to 4 and that's what it is right so that's how you go about making or requesting changes to multiple purchase orders as a supplier now the other feature that we wish to check was how to go about exporting it to the Excel and it's fairly simple you have got to use this particular button to export these queried purchase orders so simply hit on that export and as soon as you do that it's gonna give you a CSV file which will contain all these columns in Excel okay so you click on OK and that's where you can see all these purchase orders being exported in Excel file and it's quite convenient to go through that as a supplier about the details of purchase orders alright the export can as well be made in another screen so at multiple PO change screen as well there you've got the export button so after you have searched the purchase orders let's say something like this okay here the view is slightly different it's got the line level information as well and there you can hit the export and it's going to give you a new file if you export that look it's got more information as compared to what we saw which gave us only the header level information right so that's how you can leverage the feature of export functionality and the multiple change to purchase orders as a supplier in iSupplier portal.